Peace be with you. Thanks for coming out today. We're here to honor a soldier, a true soldier who was forbidding what is wrong. When he saw something wrong, he told us about it. That's the truth. And that's why we're here today. And I think that I, in, in preparing to come here, I was really amazed at how many people did not even know who Brand, uh, Bradley Manning is. And I think our mission after this is we should try as much as we can to talk about this case. And also, we have to talk about these wars and the perspective wars that are coming up. They're preparing, as we all know, for a war with Iran. They are preparing for an intervention in Syria, possibly. And if lessons are not going to be learned from what happened in Libya, we're going to do the same thing and repeat. We don't need an intervention in Syria. What's going on there is truly horrible. But do you know that the same thing is going on in Saudi Arabia? In Bahrain? Yeah. And do you know who is arming and helping the opposition in Syria? Saudi Arabia and Qatar, along with us, with the United States. We have to get a hold of our people to face our representatives and to tell them we don't want this. I joined Veterans for Peace after going to a NATO protest in Chicago. That was one of the most, uh, uh, that's what made me join Veterans for Peace. But I always did respect veterans, especially those who were enlightening the people. When I was uh, in high school during the Vietnam War, I was an average American. We were right, they were wrong, that's it. How could it be any more complicated than that? What's wrong with these hippies and these people uh, protesting the war? I was that way until 1969, my second year of high school. And I went to uh, visit Forest Park University, a junior college, and there was a big march there. It was a march of veterans and active soldiers. And that's where the Vietnam Veterans Against the War and the Winter Soldiers organizations came out. That's what turned me against the war, because the people who were fighting for our so-called leaders, they were saying, no, this is wrong. If you get a chance, come by our table, Veterans for Peace. We have a, a lot of good videos, a lot of DVDs and other literature, but one of them is called Sir No Sir. Sir No Sir meant the Vietnam vets, the v people in the Vietnam War, that's who stopped the war. A lot of us like to think that it was the people. Well, the people did the part. The people came out. But it was the veterans who stopped it. When they said, sir, no, sir. One more thing about that NATO, uh, the protests of NATO in Chicago. Leah Bulger, who's the president of Veterans for Peace, uh, she had said that what we want is total withdrawal from Afghanistan, total withdrawal of both the private uh, troops on the ground uh, in Iraq and reparations for Afghanistan. She said, this is not about us, meaning the veterans. This is about the destruction that we've reigned across the world. And uh, I wanted to close with this very tragic situation in Pakistan. A 14-year-old girl was shot uncalled, it was really it's stupid. What are you killing a kid for? Then I started thinking about how many thousands of kids will never be able to go to school again or ever because they're dead. They didn't even speak out against anything that was wrong. They were just living. And this is happening right now. It's up to us to stop it. We have to be like Bradley Manning and forbid those things that are wrong and enjoin what is right. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, said, if you see an evil, you try to stop it with your hand. 
If you can't do that, use your tongue or your pen or your computer. And if you can't do that, at least feel bad about it and hate it in your heart. And that's what, that's what I think we all have to do. We have to use our hands. We have to use our pens, our tongues, our feet, and everything we can to stop these wars. Because these wars are going to continue to go on no matter who is elected. And we have to stop it. It's up to us. The leaders won't do it. The people can do it, and the people will do it. Thank you very much. Come on by our table back there. Thank you.